Hi, friends. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to the Sally Hartstrack 80 Show. I am your host, Sally Hartstrack 80. Hi, guys. How are you doing? We've reached the middle of the week. Happy back to school um, eve for some of you that are starting tomorrow. Enjoy your last day, guys. Have fun. Do something really super exciting before you have to start a brand new year of school. But don't worry, it's going to be fabulous. You guys are going to make it happen. So on today's show, I've decided to share with you Fable Thorn. She is the daughter of the Dark Fairy. She is from Ever After High, and she is cute. I'm not sure how she is a royal, but anywho, I will get to that later. So here is Fable in her box, looking super cute. I do love Fable. Fable's eye decoration. She is adorable. There she is inside. There's the Ever After High logo. Warning for ages six and up. There is the cute little, um, what is that? Sp is it the spinning wheel? Yeah. Isn't that cute from like Sleeping Beauty? And then it says Fable Thorn, Daughter of the Dark Fairy. There is a Fable's portrait. Turn it on the side, Ever After High, once again, Fable Thorn, Daughter of the Dark Fairy, and we turn it around, it says Ever After High, choose your own Ever After High. At Ever After High, the teenagers of fairy tales choose to either follow their parents' footsteps or discover their own happily ever after. Bookmark with story included. There is a Fable Thorn story, it says 2468, being bad never felt so great. Destined to be the fairy who curses Sleeping Beauty to sleep for a hundred years, Fable loves all the glory that comes with being the lead villain in one of the most popular fairy tales ever after. She's as athletic, sassy, and spirited. So, of course, it's only natural that Fable is also the head of the Ever After High Cheer Hexing Squad. So, there is some of Fable's story. Guys, pause that right there. On the box is Bunny Blanc, Darling Charming, whom I love. She's my favorite. Duchess Swan, also available. Everafterhigh.com. You can catch them on Netflix, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. There is full body art of Fable. She is gorgeous. So let me turn that around, guys. Let me take Fable out of her box, give you guys a closer look, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so there's Fable Thorn out of her box. She's looking super cute, but before we get to her, let me show you guys what she came with. She came with a silver hairbrush, of course, in the shape of the Ever After High key. Here is her Ever After High bookmark with story inside. I am not sure how she is a royal, but anywho, there is her cute little charms. There is the spinning wheel with its spindle. Um, so let me give you guys a close-up look at Fable. I'll bring her down here. There is her cute face. I love her eye makeup on this eye. It is really, really beautiful. Actually, her eye makeup is pretty. She has lavender eyes, and I love the blue around it, like turquoise. Her hair is really, really cute. It have, has a strip of turquoise in the top. I also love how her headband here is the thorns and thistles that grew around, grew around King Stefan's castle. She has wings, which are super, super cute. They're connected to her necklace. She has on this really cute, um, I'm going to say it's her cheerleading uniform, because it looks like that a little bit. Then she has on these bluish, they're kind of purple, royal purple leggings. And then her shoes are really, really cute. Down at the heel, they also have the um, thorns and thistles that grew around King Stefan's um, castle. And there's her bag. It's kind of like a pom-pom. A and it is a bag. It does not open. It's really, really cute. And she does have this decoration on her arm that is a bracelet that turns into a ring. Um, and I think her earrings are supposed to be the spindle. I don't know, you guys. Let me know what you think if you have Fabel. Is that what her earring is supposed to be? Because I can't make it out. But she is super, super pretty. Now, Fable, I will be honest, is not one of my favorite Ever After High characters. Um, I don't know. I'm just not really into her. But she is really, really beautiful. Um, the only thing is, I will say in the Ever After High Kingdom on her box, it says she is the one destined to make Sleeping Beauty fall asleep, which is a gigantic blooper, because if she is the daughter of the Dark Fairy, that would be Maleficent. So she is not actually Maleficent, she is the daughter of Maleficent, because 
Um, it just doesn't make sense, especially when Briar Beauty is the daughter of Sleeping Beauty. So, yeah, major typo. <laughs> but she has grown on me. She is really, really beautiful. I love her paint. I love her kind of lavender, kind of grayish skin tone. She is a really lovely doll. And I do love her cute little ponytail. She is definitely... I love her color scheme. She's definitely super, super cute. So, at first she wasn't one of my favorites, but now I really, really love the idea of her. Um, she's a really pretty doll. So, uh, there you guys go. That is my review on Fable Thorn from Ever After High. She is the daughter of the Dark Fairy. And she is the one destined to make Briar Beauty's life a living hex. <laughs> So you guys, continue to have a wonderful Wednesday. Have fun out there, guys. And if you haven't picked up Fable, totally, totally get her because she is amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your wonderful support. Thank you for your comments, guys. I love them, love them, love them. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Remember to love your family, love your friends. But most importantly, love yourself. Be kind, stay positive. And until we meet again in this fabulous fairy tale world... <laughs> You guys have a magical day, and I will see you tomorrow. Continue to enjoy your Wednesday, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and please follow me on Instagram, SallyHeartStrike80. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye. See you later.